Laputa is a beautiful island located on the shores of the Atlantic Ocean. Landscape with beautiful white sandy beaches and golden sunshine like paradise on Earth. The sea is rich with many fish and shrimp. But strangely enough, the people here do not have any interest in getting close to the sea. It all started from King Potato's Ban Decree from 10 years ago. After one night, the kingdom experienced a mysterious incident. No one knows the exact story, only that after that night, the king issued a ban near the sea. <laughs> Keep going, princess! Princess. Elena is the only daughter of the king. Therefore, he dotes on this daughter very much. <laughs> Dad, I have a really great invention. Look at this. Although Elena often mischievously plays tricks, the king always laughs kindly and overlooks them. Well, this is my daughter's invention. <laughs> Very impressive, my little scientist. <laughs> the childhood of Princess Elena remained peaceful in the embrace of her father and beside her friends until one day. Strange dreams began to bother her. More enchanting, the scenes Alina sees in her dreams are like a sign for the reality about to happen. Why, princess? This is the guard post where I have to stand every day. If I don't stand here, I'll be punished. Listen to me! <laughs> oh my gosh! If it weren't for the princess, I might have been injured by now. Thank you. Incidents like this are happening more and more frequently. <gasps> Thanks huh? to that, the princess has been able to help many people <laughs> avoid accidents. And then many nights later, the princess began to dream of a heartfelt call from the distant sea. In that dream, <laughs> Elena felt extremely familiar with the sea, although she had never set foot on it before. The calls from the gentle and seductive sound gradually transition to desperate cries, haunting. Wait! Hang on! Wait for me! Waking up from a dream, Elena was extremely confused and unable to think. She brought this matter to explain to her father, the king. Why does this strange dream keep repeating over and over again? We forbid you to mention the sea! But father! Where did this strange story come from? Where is the royal physician? Quickly prepare herbal remedies to help the princess sleep well. For the first time, the king was so angry that he didn't let the princess say another word. This makes Princess Elena, who has always lived in love and care, feel extremely sad and hurt. The sea 
has been forbidden for many years. Why does the princess mention it? That's why the king is angry. But I just want to let father know there's something out there that's very strange. <laughs> Princess, don't be sad. I also get scolded by my mother all the time. Ah, <laughs> uh, perhaps the princess's dream is just a coincidence. Let's go back. Elena does not think so. The princess believes in her feelings, <laughs> believes in what has really happened, believes oh. that there are people out there who need her help. Princess, what are you doing? Stop, princess! That's against the king's orders! Ignoring the discouraging words, the princess ran straight towards the sea and jumped down. A marvelous scene appears. The sea where the princess jumps down shines brightly. Instead of drowning, the princess's body suddenly transforms. The gills help the princess breathe underwater. The feet turn into a colorful fishtail. Elena feels familiar with the vast ocean, even though this is her first time stepping down. Why did Elena transform into a mermaid? What mysterious adventure awaits the little girl under the deep sea? Let's watch part two of the movie, The Legend of the Little Mermaid. It was a snowy night. The wind was blowing so hard. It sounded like it was crying. Please, let the baby born safely. Long ago, every baby born into false family got a special number. This number was linked to the number of their town and decided how strong and what kind of force they be when they grow up. A mama forced prey really hard and her baby was born healthy, but... Why are you a one-tailed fox, <laughs> baby? You are so different. What will you do in the future? <laughs> the baby was just born Mina. At the same time, a false chef named Eward was practicing dark magic in the dark cave on a mountain. Suddenly, the sky and the earth split open and the bright light shone down on the snowy forest. Eward was startled. Hey, rock fairy, what happened in the eastern forest? Master, a baby force was just born. The sun star is shining on it. What does it mean? Tell me now. Master, this kid is super special. She has got the power of God on her side and will stop you from becoming immortal. What? We can't let that happen. We have to destroy her early. Where's she? Master, go to the snowy forest. There's a rare one town fire force there. You will see her. It worked quickly when mm. east, but fighting it was hard. Hmm. Oh. The mother force had already hidden her daughter, who only had one tail. She wanted her daughter to be safe. Ten years passed, but their peace was about to end. He. he came here? The mother force was angry, but she knew she was no match for him right now and quickly went home to take her daughter away. Mom, what's going on? Why? We have to leave now. There's no time. Hurry up. <laughs> I finally found you. This is useless. Just surrender and give me the child and I will let you go. There's no way I will submit to an evil tail hunter like you. My ice clan was destroyed because of me. To keep mine set, her mother had to hmm. give up her red tails. Her mother made a big snowstorm to blow away the bad monster. It was the first time Mina felt sad and hurt. Now she was only without her mom and her tail looked different. Mom! Mom! Mina wanted to go down the mountain to get help and make the bad guy pay for what he did to her mom. The big, busy city was so different from her mountain home. In the land of the forces, many kinds of animal people lived together. 
each with their own way of acting and special things they were meant to do. Pre-taught forces liked to play a lot. Four-taught crash forces could always be <laughs> counted on. Eight-taught water forces liked to feel happy and sad a lot, but they still got along with each other. But six tail forces and five tail wind forces always wanted to show how strong they were by raising each other. Hmm. The seven tail forces liked to do their own thing and wouldn't listen. It took a friendly ten tailed flight force hmm. to help everyone get along. Hmm. The two tail ice force family was very sad after something bad happened to them, and Mina was the only one left. Mina was a 10 years old girl who didn't have her mother anymore. She wasn't quite the same as the other kids and they weren't very nice to her. All alone, Mina wandered around the town. After many rainy and sunny days, the little girl with her parents felt very down. She was quick and lying on the street corner like a beggar. What's that? A group of forces? But they only have one tail? They're really different. Hey, you don't have a place to stay either. If you're hungry, come ask for some food with me. She wanted to make the bad guy sorry, so she dried her tears. She went with her false friend to ask for some food. She was surprised that the person who gave her food turned out to be someone she hates. It would get food to the homeless children on the street just to find her. Bad guy, give me back my mom. Pay with your life for my ice cream. <laughs> It's true that doing good deeds leads to resentment. What's she doing? Often are different. They have no education. Hmm. Everyone wait. Look, he's just a lost kid who doesn't know much yet. Let's be kind and forgive her. Come over here, little one. I will give you something to eat. What can a teeny girl like you do? Everyone loves me. They bow down to me. I won't hurt you. Haha. <laughs> Why is this a silly friend? Because it's so much trouble? Hey, Stone Goblin, it's time to rest for a while. Mina got losses in a place with bad luck and had to find a hiding spot. She wanted to get even with someone one day. A very long time passed and Mina grew up big and tall. She even became the leader of the coolest kids ever. Finally, her chance came. That year, Edward started searching for a team of special helpers. Hmm. Mina lived in a tough neighborhood. She had to be strong a lot just to get what she needed. Mina thought she was the strongest kid around. Hmm. <laughs> Until she met Amber, her new friend who is a water force. Huh? I won't go easy on you. Huh? Please go ahead. Huh? Huh. Hmm. Mina learned that because Amber had lost huh. her practice, she was better at some things huh. than Mina. Even though huh. they didn't win or lose, hmm. Mina felt really tired. What made Mina even more upset was that Amber had a whole team of friends who cheered up for her. Oh. Mina wished she had friends like huh? that too. Hey everyone, it's alright. We make it to the next part. That's what matters. <laughs> That's right. You are going to meet Mr. Ewood soon, just like you wished. <laughs> Things weren't so good anymore. When Amber found out Mina did like the leader she looked up to, huh? now they had to work together on a special project. She's so weird. Why do we have to be in the same group as her? <laughs> huh? Even though they were enemies, Amber helped Mina when she needed it most. She forgot about their problems and saved Mina. Don't you guys hate me? Yes, but we're a team. And you must have your reason too. We just don't understand each other yet. I don't know what happened between you and Mr. Edward, but he saved my family that year, so he's very kind to me. 
He doesn't know the truth about him yet. Hmm. That's right. Let's meet him to find out the truth. Maybe you're wrong, or maybe I am. Huh? Mm hmm. <gasps> huh? That's strange. Where are the other teams? That means. We are the first ones here. Let's go explore. Hmm. They didn't know that Ewart, who used to be super strong, wasn't the same anymore. No. Hmm. Don't do anything. What's going on? That bad monster is trying to take the fox's tail to become super strong forever. This game is just a trick. It's on my phone. I didn't believe you. <laughs> Crying won't help us now, Amber. We need to stop him and show everyone what he did wrong to help our friends. Mm -hmm. When they came down, Amber and Mina Found out that it was false fire and power came from his dark tail. That means he's quicker when the sun first comes up? That's right. This is our only chance. From then on, mm. Mina and Amber became the best of friends. What will happen next? Is Edward really dead? What will be the fate of Amber and the others? We mean to find a way to solve everything. Find out in the next episode of the animated series Legend of the Nine Tail Force. The other side of the gate, Willis flew into the hmm. secret garden. She looked uh -huh. around, and it was not difficult to find out the freshest fairy flower. Willis got mm -hmm. the flower gently. Her heart was filled <laughs> with a great joy and delight. She came out with the flower, intending to ask him about the queen, but it disappeared. Phyllis was worried oh. and doubtful, but at least she had found the fairy flower. <laughs> the most important here is to make it a compassion in time. I will come back to see him later. Phyllis returned to the kingdom with a bleak. She did not know about the terrible event happened. While a butterfly fairy was trying to stop oh, Hannah, hmm. no one got the order holding to Soche, so Satan sneaked into there. <laughs> you has fell into my trap. It is me, Venice. <laughs> According to the law, a queen was not 45 years old older, so the term of Mavila was going over. Hmm. She worried to lose her authority, so she learned about her magic to be young again. <laughs> but because she did not know about that kind of magic hmm. well, Mavila became back and turned to be a manly Satan. He changed to be mad because of bad magic. He wanted to be the king of the world and found ways to steal the soul jade of Madila Kingdom. Supreme Soul Jade, please give me power to control these butterfly fairies. I don't let you to do that. With the power from the fairy flower and the skill of the brave more warrior, Willis temporarily chased Satan away. When Satan hmm. flew far away, hypnotism also was over. The moth fairy was awake, but they just remember that Willis told them to leave the duty of guarding the soul jade in order to stop Hannah. It's your duty for protecting the soul jade? Are you happy? We... We... Uh, we just follow Valise. 
Phyllis, tell me, what is it? Is this Queen Mavila's pendant? Why do you have it? I took it from Satan. I stopped you because from Satan? You knew him before? It's you. You made us leave for him to get the soul jade. I'm so surprised. You are the traitor. No, this is not true. Flee, listen to me. Shut her up. Shut her up. Finally, Warrior Valis became a traitor and was shut up by her sisters. This suspicions were big stain to Melis, for she was known by her honesty. But now she even was more miserable because she fell into Satan's trap. This brought a great grief to the kingdom. <laughs> They are right for blaming me. It's me. It is because of my stupid. He will definitely come back to the kingdom. Be awake, Felix. Don't let him destroy the kingdom. Please think, Felix. Felix decided to face her wrong. She needed to go out to kill Satan, protect the kingdom, and get her honor of the warrior back. What? Hannah, you... What are you doing here? Keep silent, Valis. I don't believe that you are a traitor. If so, you will let me die in the swarm with the monster. Moreover, I believe in you. A Malice, I have no will. <laughs> with a warm hug, Valis and Hannah solved their misunderstanding in the past. Truly, Hannah did not talk to Valis anymore because she thought that Malice more and more got close to Layla. Butterfly fairies that day were so arrogant, especially Hannah. I hate all of them. Huh? Hannah was so angry, she left. She did not know that Felice protected her and blamed Layla huh? because what she said was wrong. The child's <laughs> conflicts were over. We don't have so much time. The best talent warrior, this kingdom needs you. Please fulfill your duty. Thank you. Definitely, I will win over Satan. Hmm. Hey. hey! Still wants to fight, little girl? <laughs> Look, all your sisters follow me. Follow me, and you will be fine. Ha 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 ha! I never let you do what you want in this sacred land, Matipa. Hannah and Valis fought as the two final brave warriors of the kingdom. <laughs> Quickly, Satan realized the weakness of the plaintive fairy, Hannah. He focused on fighting her with his wicked blow. Huh? Hannah, watch out! No! Valis, wake up! Don't let me alone! I am so sorry! I just want everything to be the same as before. <laughs> Willis this time seemed to be in an agony. Sadly, she recalled all this memory. To defeat the Sao Jade, we need the power of the fairy's wings. We also need the strong will and the heartfelt sentiment. Oh, hmm. Right, wings. Don't do that, Valis. If you do that, you will be dangerous or even die. Everything will be fine. Promise to me, you will bring peace to the kingdom. Valis. Hannah, promise to me, you will protect this kingdom all your life for me. Wake up. Valis, please! Hannah Huss was filled with misery. The hatred of the kingdom and the loss of the friend make her feel so miserable. Hannah didn't want to let the sacrifice of Hannah become useless. So, she was not cold anymore. I will destroy him! Hannah returned with the twin swords. 
she was ready to find the final battle. One swore race with her love to Hannah, and her will to protect the kingdom. You are also good. Look. There is no place for any cruel here. Yes. Hannah's war brought her power line and courage. It destroyed him totally. The multiple kingdom was filled with sunshine again. Escaping from bad magic, the fairies came to the altar of the stone chain together. Everyone was so sad because of leaving of a brave soul. They passed their power to the broken wings. The light was so bright and hopeful. Hannah immediately put the wing into the body of Felix. She came to life again. Everyone is here. Are we victorious? Yes, we are. Thank you, Felix. From now on, don't leave me alone. <laughs> All mixed understanding was so. <laughs> Hannah and Melis became the two queens of the fairy tribe. A just society was established. Everyone was encouraged to develop their power and talent. Melissa is the little daughter of Mario family. They are the middle class family on the outside the city. Melissa has mm -hmm. lost energy, but she always listens well. Her parents love her dearly. <laughs> the family lived happy in the house. They didn't know that someone was watching them from the forest. The mother climbed over seven mountains to find the cave where her daughter's footprints were. So sad, will the mother will find her daughter? The story will be continued tomorrow, but now it's time to go to bed, my dear daughter. Maria gave her little girl a kiss on her forehead mm -hmm. and said goodnight. Melissa fell asleep, still thinking about how the story ended. Maybe they didn't know, but the bedtime story they just read would happen to them in the next few days. The next morning, Melissa's mother went to wake her up, but she wasn't in bed. The window was broken, and there was a piece of Melissa's shirt stuck on the glass. Seeing a big of blood on the glass, Marie was mm -hmm. afraid something bad might happen. Melissa! Where is Melissa? Everyone in the neighborhood quickly learned that Melissa was gone. They have looked for her all day and all night, from one end of the street all the way to the forest, but they couldn't find her anywhere. Melissa! 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 Melissa had been missing for seven days. No one knew where she was. The people looking for her were getting to give up. Some people were telling huh? Melissa's parents to stop looking for her. Others were praying for Melissa to be found. Maybe she's not here anymore. Maybe she's not here anymore. Poor her. Poor her. No news. It's hard to think how a seven years old child could be safe. Because of that, Maria was very sad. She stayed in her daughter's room all day, holding the book she was reading to her and crying. Once you burn the time, once you burn the time. Time passed and people thought Melissa was gone. Life in the neighborhood went back to normal. But her mother's heart was broken. Maria was very sad because she couldn't find her daughter. She went to a lake in the forest and jumped in. She hoped to find her daughter in heaven. Maria went down slowly into the lake. She didn't find it, and her mind kept thinking about her daughter's huh? face. Deep inside, she wished with all her heart to see her daughter again someday. 
Maria went down the bottom of the lake. Then something magical happened. Shiny creatures started to fly around her. A big sword of water appeared. A water demon with a dark cave came out and offered her a deal. Are you willing to give up your life to fight your daughter? I agree. As long as I can see my daughter, I'm willing to do anyway. Mm -hmm. The deal was made. The water demon would give Maria directions to find her daughter, but she would have to pay with her life. A big whirlpool spun around Maria, bringing her back to the ground. What just happened? Is this real or a dream? Huh? Mm -hmm. huh? Mario opened her eyes. Hmm. Even though it wasn't a very clear chance, she knew he, she had to take it to find her daughter. Why does the way back look so different? Maybe I'm turned around. This thick fog makes it hard to see. When Maria was trying to find her child in the dark, the goddess of darkness appeared and asked her. Do you want to find your child? So give me your shiny hair and I will show you where dad is going. Please take what you want and let me see my daughter. Without thinking, the mother cut off her hair and gave it to the scary shadow queen. Hurry up, otherwise you won't be able to catch up with him. The mother kept walking and came across a strange bush that seemed to be talking. Do you want to fight your child? So, hug me tightly with your warm body. I will tell you where death is taking your child. <sighs> Mario wrapped her arm around the bush, holding on tight. Even though the sharp points had a skin, it seemed like the pain didn't matter anymore. The bush felt happy and loved, just like it had always wanted. It had been pointed at a branch in the direction the mother should go. Continue to Fort Lake. If you are lucky, you can catch up with death. Mm -hmm. The mother finally saw death but was separated by the lake. On the other huh? side of the bank, the girl's image slowly faded away. The mother sat down sadly, tears streaming down her face. Melissa, Melissa. At this time, the lay spoke up. Do you want to fight your childhood? Then give me your clear device and it will help you cross the lake. I want to see my daughter with my own eyes. But if this is the only thing you need, I'll give it to you so I can hug her again. Having finished speaking, the mother took her eyes and threw them into the lake. All of a sudden, the lake opened up, making a way for the mother to walk through. She didn't look pretty anymore. Her hair was messy, her clothes were ripped, and her body was full of wars. But she walked on the path the water made, with the waves helping her along. The mother finally found Dad and her daughter. Melissa! Melissa, my dear! Look closely, that's your mommy. She looks a little different now, but she still loves you very much. Would you rather stay with me or go see your mommy? Are you mommy? In the past, the mother and the dad were actually friends. They would go along when they were little, just like lost puppies. They became best friends, took care of each other, and thrown us to always be close, like family. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> 
One day, Muriel's life changed when she met a special hmm. family who wanted to adopt a child. Hey! Huh? Thanks. Where'd she live? Your parents must be so proud of you. My parents, they... they are no longer in this world. I live on this street. <gasps> hmm. Look at her. She's so good and cute. Do you think we could... I understand your wish. Hmm. Hmm. The kind couple <laughs> took Mario home to live with them and love her just like their own child. Hmm. But Maria forgot about the promise she wow. made that year. <laughs> Even when she saw her old friends on the street, she pretended not to see them. Sister, I look for you everywhere. I thought something had happened to you. Get away! We're different now. I don't know someone like you. Don't you miss me? I miss you so much. What's the matter, daughter? No, it's nothing. Just a child beggar. Huh? <laughs> huh? After that, the boy stopped visiting his big sister. His angel made him want to do bad things. In the end, he decided to work for the bad guys. <laughs> huh? Mm-hmm. Please, let me go back to my mommy. She did so much for me. Even though she might not feel as strong anymore, she's still my best mom ever, and I want to help her out. The dad almost cried, but nobody saw. Deep down, he felt happy with a secret smile. In fact, the water demon, the goddess of darkness, the talking dust and the river were all transformed by the dead. The dead was a lonely soul lacking his mother love. He was jealous, so he took Melissa away from mm. her mother's arms. He also wanted to get back at his sister. Because mm. the mother never gave up, he finally understood mother's warm hug, a bright light, and a big sacrifice. Huh? Melissa, who always wanted to be with her mom, no matter what, that's what made that move. Mario, Melissa, my little girl, my dear wife. When the father found the mother and child, he was so happy. The villagers clapped their hands for joy. Deep down, the mother felt a strange and family feeling. Mm -hmm. She couldn't help but huh? think of her little brother from years ago, who was about Melissa's age. She felt regretful for hmm. losing him because of her selfishness. No one knew that in a far corner of the forest, the dad was still watching over the family and the villagers. But at this moment, he also smiled with a loving look in his eyes. <laughs> After pushing Ro into the deep sea, the bad lady felt happy and relieved because she had a new friend. Meanwhile, the friends were very sad because he couldn't find Rose anywhere in the castle. He looked everywhere, even in the smallest places. But Rose and her friends were gone. This was decided by national interest. As the successor, you need to be responsible for the country. I don't ask for advice, give you orders. Under pressure from the king about the responsibility of the successor, the friends had no choice but to accept the wedding. The wedding quickly took place in the anticipation of the whole royal family. The wedding took place 
Princess Lucina was as beautiful as goddess, walking next to the prince, making all the eyes watching constantly at mine. Today, we are all gathered to celebrate a very special event for our kingdom, the royal wedding. Luciana, do you agree to marry the prince and become the queen of the country? I... I don't agree. <gasps> what are you saying, Luciana? Did you take the wrong medicine? <laughs> She's just a bit nervous and flustered. That's all. It's a wedding day. <laughs> Is that true, Luciana? Speak up. Yes, I don't want this wedding. Enough is enough. It's time to stop, mother. <gasps> Luciana's strong decision has a long story behind it. That stormy night, Luciana had a day with Queen Sarah to get ready for the wedding. But when Luciana arrived, Queen Sarah was nowhere to be found. Rose, Rose, wake up, please wake up. Oh no, she's gone. I said it won't be a good idea to leave the island. <coughs> Uncle Luther, I can hear it. Come on, Rose, luckily if you woken up. I, I saw it all, my mother. This mark on your shoulder, why do you have it? I've had this thing on my shoulder for a long time and I just started to remember that accident last year. I'm not sure anymore. My parents is the king of Persia. Very pleasant to find you, Princess Rosala. Luciana, what are you doing? Rosala, don't you remember me? It turned out that Rose was a princess from Persia, whose full name was Rosala. Rosala and Lucina had a special bond since they were little girls. <laughs> when the king Rosala's mommy passed away, King Daddy married Lucina's mommy and made her the new queen. Unlike her mommy, who was greedy and mean, Lucina was a kind and sweet girl. Even though her mommy tried to get her to do bad things, Lucina and Rosala's friendship became even stronger. They were like best friends. Being a wife to the king wasn't enough for Sarah. She wanted to be the boss of the whole castle and even the entire kingdom. <laughs> Rose's accident at sea was all a part of Sarah's plan. <gasps> Luciana, that's right, I remembered you. But why? Why did your mother do that to me? I'm so sorry, it's all my fault. Huh? 
That year, I saw my mother put something strange in the king's food. I stopped my mother. Mom, stop! I saw it. I will tell the king. You stupid! I'm doing all this for you. So shut up. No, this isn't what I need. Don't argue. Lock her up. I cried so much. That's right. That's a crying sound. <laughs> no, stop it, mom. Uh. <gasps> <laughs> Queen, I hear crying. It seemed like, it seemed like. Never mind, little princess. Go be with your mommy in heaven. I will make sure everyone stop crying and take care of our kingdom now. <laughs> The king passed away that night, and my mother took over the kingdom. I thought you had died too. I've been feeling really about it for the past twelve years. It's all my fault, my sister. Old memories make Rosalie's heart hot and angry. She didn't know what to do. My poor baby. Who knows what you've been through? But I don't blame Luciana at all because Rose knows that Luciana has also carried that pain in her heart for twelve years. Luciana, you're not at fault. You even just saved me. We have to quickly stop your mother. I wonder what she plans to do with the friends in this country. Her daughter told everyone about the bad things Queen Sarah did. She was surprised and angry. She couldn't hide her badness anymore. <gasps> you silly! Did I raise you to betray me? Did she tell you to do that? I told you 12 years ago not to play with her. I'm going to send her away. What, didn't you listen to me? Did she admit everything? No, King, please calm down. I'm just teaching my daughter a lesson so she can't... Do you want me to be like you? This marriage was planned because we were friends with the king of Persia. You were not nice to him. And now you want to be mean to his daughter too? Yours, keep her. You have no right. Now I am the queen of Persia. The wedding was cancelled. So, what right do you have to arrest me? <laughs> but I am here! I, Princess Rosala, is back. Mm -hmm. I am the rightful heir to the kingdom of Persia. I command that the person who harmed the lake be punished immediately. Put her in the darkness cell. No! There's no way, you stupid! No! So, after 12 years, the true world revealed. The wedding was cancelled. Rosala and the friends were finally able to be together. <laughs> Even though she had done the right thing, she felt bad because of what happened. She decided to go somewhere else. Wait, Luciana! I am the one who needs to leave. What are you saying, Rosala? You have forgiven me. That is a great favor to me. Luciana, please rule the kingdom of Persia in my place. Over the past 12 years, I've gotten you to be being an island princess. You see, it suits me quite well. But my mother did. I know, but aren't you the one who solved everything? That's right. If it wasn't for your clever pen, everything would have stayed hidden. Your honesty and kindness have been shown to all of us. You are more fit to be the ruler of the land of Persia than anyone else. Rosala! A 12-year conflict were resolved through the kindness and friendship of two little girls. Bro and the friends returned to the island, happy with new adventures. They also never forget to visit Sir Perry and little sister Ophel.
In a peaceful mermaid kingdom deep under the ocean, there lived a beautiful mermaid named Alina. She was the king's favorite daughter and had everything she ever wanted. Alina never had to worry about anything and always got her way. I want that one. Princess Alina was old enough to get married, but she did not want to marry any of the princes from the other kingdoms, except for the handsome prince Kazu. Alina wished Pearl to her father. Daddy, I want to marry Prince Kazu from the neighboring kingdom. My dear daughter, I will do anything for you. But be careful. Love is not always as easy as you imagine. I know, Dad. I'm sure I will happy with him. Mm -hmm. Two kingdoms celebrated a wedding. The citizens were excited about the wedding of the handsome couple. Alina and Kazu got married with everyone's congratulations. Alina was beautiful, but she did not know that this would change her life forever. That is the only bracelet in the world. It shows my internal love for you. <gasps> Quickly, wear it for me. As soon as Alina wore, she started shaking and turning into a monster right in front of everyone. She is a monster turned into a monster. She will destroy the kingdom. Look, you bad demon. Get her out of here. Get out of here quickly. Lock her up with the king. Alina was scared and tried to pull the necklace off her neck, but it was no use. <gasps> Father, I will come back to save you. <laughs> now, who needs me anymore? Family and love. I've lost everything. My appearance has become so disgusting. What should I do, Aslan? You still have me, Princess. I know a place that can break the curse. The two went to the house of the Witch of the Night. My princess, have you come here because of the cost of that beautiful necklace? How do you know? Once that necklace is put on, it cannot be taken off. The cost can only be broken by the blood of the person you love the most and who loves you the most. When Alina heard the witch talk, she fell hopeless. He'll show up, I promise. If we want to find that person and go back to save the king, we have to leave first. We'll stay here for now. Alina was used to being taken care of, so at first, she couldn't do much and was loved by the citizens. Luckily, Aslan was only there to help her. <laughs> Aslan, I can't do. I've never done this before. Don't worry, princess. 
Let's start with the simplest things. You still have me. Thank you, Iceland. Help! Help! Hold on tight. I will pull you up. Keep going. Almost there. Thank you so much. Slowly, everyone in the village started to like her kazoo. But the king and Alina in jail, and then disappeared. After that, he became king. Thank you for helping us destroy monsters. <laughs> but since Kazu was in charge, the people had not been happy. He made strict rules. He didn't let them go out to trade. He made them pay a lot of taxes. And he limited the amount of food they could buy each day. All of this made people hungry and sick. The painful thing that Kazu did was slowly spreading to the village where Alina's Aslan lived. That Kazu guy won't let them go out to trade, but goods are banned from being traded. We soon have nothing left to eat. Let's swing against the bad rule, Kazu, and bring peace to all land. What can each of us do have? I am Princess Alina. I was cursed by Kazu and turned into this form. In the name of my father the king, I promise you all that I will bring peace to our kingdom once again. Let's defeat the evil ruler for the king, Princess Alina, and the kingdom. Aslan began training Princess Alina. If you told this word closely and your stance is not stable, then you will lose. <laughs> you must aim properly. Alina is very smart. She was able to learn the skills that the guard taught her very quickly. <laughs> I'm a good student. <laughs> Finally, the day has come to save the kingdom and the king from the bad ruler. It was dark outside, so Alina and Aslan snuck into the kingdom. The villagers followed them, and everyone had weapons to fight against Kazu, the bad ruler. Alina told the villagers to hide outside and wait, while she and Aslan went into the castle to fight Kazu. Alina and Aslan went into the hall. Kazu's soldiers attacked them. Actually, Kazu had planned to this all alone. Even though Alina is stronger, she's not used to fighting and quickly starts to lose. Kazu saw a chance to cut Alina badly. This Iceland jumped in front of her to protect her. No! Alina felt her body change all of a sudden. Her horns and claws disappeared. She turned back into a human. The cuts were broken. I... <sighs> Let me go! Let me go! I bet you. Please wake up. Aslan, I love you. Please wake up. I was so silly to run off the thing that didn't matter. And now see that you were the one who loved me the most. I can't live without you. It's too noisy. I'm okay. There is just a skin wound. You... you... did you hear everything? I'm surprised the headstrong princess is paying attention to me. Look what saved my life.
Thank you for your gifts. They saved my life. The citizens were happy and shouted because they were no longer ruled by Kanzu. The king was also happy that his disobedient daughter had become more kind and thoughtful. The most importantly, she had found the one she truly loved. When Aslan was better, they had a big wedding party. The two gave each other a sweet kiss while everyone in the kingdom watched. Once upon a time, there was a mighty kingdom atop a high mountain. This place possessed a colossal treasure and was ruled by a wise and kind king. The king had a passion for hunting, but little did he know that it would lead his kingdom to face an ancient curse. The king has a beautiful daughter named Dahlia. One day, like any other day, he bid farewell to his daughter and set off on a hunting trip. Dahlia, please wait for me to come back. <laughs> Be careful, Your Highness. I will wait for you to return. <laughs> the king and his guards set off on a hunting trip. Along the way, they encountered a flock of black crows. Hmm. Detestable black crows. They dare to disturb our hunting trip. Huh? Foolish humans. Do you know what you just did? Who? Who are you? Your foolishness. Don't you know who is protecting you? <sighs> you must pay the price for touching the sacred creature of this land. All the people will also share the same fate obediently become stone guards to protect this place forever. The demon king cast an ancient curse upon the kingdom and all its people. forgive the king and the kingdom. I accept to exchange everything. All of them? All of them. Okay. Those crows were originally the spirits that I sent to protect your kingdom. Now, you shall become them to pay for the mistakes of your king. You will have to guard this kingdom until you find someone with a pure heart, willing to sacrifice themselves for you. Only then will the curse be broken. If not, you will only be able to be human at night and have to watch your loved ones and the kingdom perish forever. The demon king disappeared 
leaving Dahlia in despair. Everyone around has turned into stone. The scenery is immersed in darkness. Ten years later, the prosperous land of Azkaba is now only known as the Kingdom of Stone. Those who come here only hope to find treasure. But no one succeeds and returns. Dahlia, now a beautiful young woman, is still imprisoned in a curse. People tell each other stories about the mysterious kingdom. I heard there are a lot of treasures up there. But have you seen it with your own eyes? Just go up there and try to find it. long has it been? Don't be sad, Dahlia. We will overcome this together. Thank you, Corvus. For the past ten years, Corvus has been Dahlia's only friend. It has always been by her side and encouraged her. Hello, beautiful little duckling. Please accept this rose as a replacement for my greeting. form when night comes. During the days, as you can see, I am a cute little crow. <laughs> there is another bandit going up the mountain today. We heard that they are very fierce and dangerous. Hopefully they will not cause any harm to the kingdom. Is anyone there? Huh? Help, help me. him here. Corvus, help me out. <laughs> hey, can you hear me? Hey, hey. I am Carl. What are you doing? Hurry up and disappear. Don't bother us. Inside the castle now looks like a pile of ruins. Carl is so engrossed in admiring beautiful people that he forgets someone is still waiting for a chance to chase him away. This unbeatable man! Get back to your place now! Huh? Uh, 
but this crow is my friend. <sighs> Carl introduces himself as an adventurer. Unfortunately, he had an accident while climbing the mountain. Luckily, he was rescued by a princess. So every day when night falls, Dahlia always comes to Carl's side. The two gradually develop feelings for each other. Of course, Corvus still protects Dahlia from the person it hates. Leave with me, Dahlia. <laughs> Do you have something to tell me? Speak up, we will solve it together. There's nothing here. It's just that we can't leave this place. Huh? Hmm. hmm. <sighs> Princess, why don't you tell Carl the truth? I don't want anyone to sacrifice for me. I don't want to repeat that again. Although I hate him, Carl seems to be a person of great influence. I know, but I can't let him risk his life. Corvus is silent, understanding Dahlia's heart. Princess, you should run away! Run? You won't be able to run at all. What will happen to Dahlia and Carl's love? Will Dahlia and the kingdom's curse be broken? Let's wait for the next part of the movie together. <laughs> <laughs>